Here we have a system of equations, and the goal is to figure out the ordered pair that's the solution to the system. When you're using elimination, the first thing you want to do is to line up your equations vertically. So I'm just going to rewrite the two equations with one right below the other one. The goal with elimination is to get one of the variables to cancel out to eliminate one of them. So if we look at the system that we have here, if I add these two together, if I added these, I would get 5x's. If I added these, I would get a positive 1y. And then this would be 14. Um, so if I add it just as it is, nothing cancels out. I didn't eliminate the x or the y. And this is a problem. So if this happens to you when you're using elimination, you need to go back and see if you can try to fix the problem. So I'm going to erase some of what I wrote just now. So we need to figure out how we can fix this system so that something will cancel. Now you can pick to try to either get the x's to cancel or the y's to cancel. It doesn't matter. Um, you'll get the same answer either way. So you want to pick the variable that looks the easiest. In this case, it's going to take about the same amount of work to get either one to cancel. Um, let's try to get the x's to cancel. In order to cancel, we need these to be the same number, but one of them to be positive and one of them to be negative. So it's kind of like when you're adding fractions, um, you need like a common denominator. So if you had a denominator of 2 and a denominator of 3, your common denominator that you would use would be 6. So it's the same kind of idea is that we want to get a 6 on the top and a 6 on the bottom. And we want either the top or the bottom to be negative so that they'll cancel out. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the entire top equation by the same number. Um, and so let's make the top a positive 6. So 2 times 3 will give us a positive 6. I'm going to rewrite the system over here. So this would give me 6x. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then 9 times 3 is 27. The most common mistake is for students to forget to multiply this number here at the end. Um, so make sure when you're multiplying the equation that you multiply every single thing by that same number. For the second one, we need it to cancel with this 6x here. So we need a negative 6. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply everything by negative 2. So that gives me a negative 6x. Negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8y and then 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Now when we add them together, I have 6x's plus negative 6, that cancels out. So that's a really good sign we got one of our variables to cancel. Um, when you're dealing with negatives here, be really careful when you're adding. I have 9 negatives plus 8 more negatives. That means I have 17 negatives. And then 27 plus a negative 10 is 17. So we can get rid of this 0x here. We just have negative 17y equals 17. I can divide both sides by negative 17. That tells me that my y value is negative 1. Now the common mistake is for students to get one of the answers and just to put down that as the final answer. But what you have to remember when you're solving a system is that your answer is going to be an ordered pair. And we've just found the y coordinate and the y coordinate always goes second. So we've found half of our answer. And now we need to go back and find the x. When you go back to find the second variable, always go back to one of your original equations. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, pick whichever one looks easier to you. Um, I'm going to pick the second one just because it has a plus sign. Um, so I'll do it over here. So I know 3x plus 4y, and I know y is negative 1. That has to come out to 5. Um, 4 times negative 1 is minus 4. I can undo subtracting 4 by adding 4 to both sides. So that gives me 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by 3. That gives me x equals 3. So I have just found the second part of my answer. So my answer is the order pair 3, negative 1. And then don't forget, you can always check your answer on this one. Um, I can, I use the second equation to solve for x, so if I go to check it, I want to check it in the other equation, the one that I didn't just use, 
And so I'm going to plug in the X and the Y and make sure that it really does come out to 9. If I plug in a 3 for X, 2 times 3 would be 6. And then if I plug in a negative 1, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And 6 plus 3 really does equal 9. Um, if this came out, you know, this side came out to an 8 or some other number, that would tell you you had a mistake along the way. Um, but if the left-hand side and the right-hand side come out to the same number, um, that means that you have the correct answer. So our answer to this system of equations is the ordered pair 3, negative 1.